Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're moving some steel. We got to go over to the shop. I got a my angle roll is at the shop, so we need to roll the top pieces for our four panels and for the top of our gate. So we went and got the trailer this morning off another job, and now I'm gonna load up those few pieces I cut the other day, and I'm gonna load up these full sticks, and we're gonna run them over to the shop and start bending out some arches for our top, and then we'll have all our pieces done and we can start assembling. So stick with us, should be a good video, and we'll see you at the shop. Mm. All right, so we got those pieces. Should be more than we need, but we can take it some extra in case I screw something up, over bend something or whatever. But um, so we got everything loaded up. We gotta get strapped down, and then we'll head to the shop. set up for some two inch Let's see I'm gonna get the tape all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my um, where I've got these relief joints cut in the concrete they're pretty straight and square I'm gonna use those to make sure that my bend is right so I'm gonna sweep this floor first a little dirty I'm gonna sweep it so I can after I start rolling this stuff I can lay it out on the floor and see if it's gonna work for what I'm trying to make Alright, so first thing I want to do is set up my gap in here for two inch. And it's about two inches now. It's a little on the tight side. I might back it out just a hair. It's, it's real, it's like right dead nuts. No, that's yeah, a little tighter than two. So I'm gonna back these out just a hair. Make my gap in here so it don't scrape up the sides of my metal so bad. This isn't, isn't the best roller in the world. It's kind of a cheap knockoff, Chinese made, something or another, but I just, I couldn't afford what they wanted for a, for a real roller. 
the price was astronomically different. So I had to go with a cheap one because we just don't we just don't use this piece of equipment very often. And all right, it gives me about two and a an eight. That's pretty good there. Back this one off a little bit. Two and an eight there. Now we need to check our top gap. It's a little tight, so we need to back it off. All right, so as you can see, this here, this is about an inch and seven eighths. It's too tight. I need it to be past two inches, probably like two and an eighth. So I need to back off on this nut right here you back off on this nut it's going to pull this out and it's going to give me a bigger gap in between here which is what my two inch metal has got to go inside of and it's also when it starts to roll it's going to expand some too so I need to leave some room for expansion alright it's still a little tight I need to back it off in but like two and a sixteenth Now we got about two and an eighth in there. It's hard to tell, it's got a lot of roll right there, but man, this thing's pretty dirty. I'm wipe it down a little bit. Let me get a rag and wipe these rollers off. Got a lot of grease and nasty on them. Alright, so first thing you want to do is you need to take this all the way down until it gets tight on your material. That's your start point. Uh, it's just a hair under the six mark over here, which don't really mean nothing in measurements or whatever because it's probably it looks like centimeters. But I'll just take a note that it's on the hash mark right below the six. That might help me um, as I start to bend these to get the next one the same because we're going to have to build, you know, we're going to have to have two identical pieces. Each one we bend, we got to have an identical piece to it. So need to keep track of how many turns and everything I'm doing while I'm bending it so I can repeat my bends. So that's, that's why I'm kind of taking note of stuff like that. So here we go. All right, so right now I ain't got no pressure on it. I'm just rolling out to the end. Set this to the center of that wheel right there. It's pretty tight. I'm gonna go like a turn and a half to see what that does. As you see, we start to get a little slight roll out of it. Finish rolling this out, and then we'll tighten up and we'll roll some more to get some more bend in it. That's not going to be enough, obviously. I'm going to stop at about the middle of this roll here. Just don't want to roll off of it for sure. All right, now we're going to go another turn. All right, it's nice. Two full turns since we started. Now we're going to roll it back through again. And see where I'm putting down, see I was putting a little dent in it. That's why you need some extra material when you're rolling this stuff. Because you may end up with some 
deformation of stuff in certain places. The sheen would work a lot better if it had neurals on these inside rollers and you could you could tighten it down and then stick it in there and let it do it. it it's actually the way it's supposed to work, but it won't feed the stuff in without neurals on those rollers. But kind of important for me to note too, I can see that two curls or two turns is probably going to be pretty close on my long pieces once you get this stretched out to 12 foot. Two turns is probably going to be in the ballpark, so I'll keep I'll keep that in mind. But for these smaller arches, we got to get a good bit more roll out of them. So, because we're going to do a foot arch, so what we looked at on the computer, the foot a foot arch looked good in those spans. So, and that's what it looked like it would mostly match the gate. So, let's try to get another turn out of it. As you see now, it's starting to expand that tube out and starting to scratch it up a little bit. I might need to loosen these up just a little more. Oh, it's got a nasty twist in it though, Jenny. See it up there? Got a nasty twist in it. Yeah, it's hard to see in the camera, but it's twisting on us. Alright, so I'm getting a kind of a bad twist already in this piece of tubing. And I think what it is is because this top roller here, it actually sits in there at a little bit of an angle because of the pressure. So it ends up putting more pressure on this side of the tubing than on that side of the tubing. And it's starting to cause a roll. So I might... I might would actually stick it in there the other way and roll it back through to get the rest of my bins with it going through the other way. Might fix my problem rather than trying to use these things because they're real aggravating. But these are made so that you can actually put a spiral into something. But you can also use them to take some spiral out, I would think. Um, but I think my best course of action might be just to take it out, spin it around, and run it through the opposite way. And maybe the last couple of bends, maybe it'll it'll help crook me back over the other way because I can just see how this side is pushing down a lot harder than what it is on the other side. So let me try. That. And maybe I'll run this out too. Can't hurt, right? Now I got this roller pushing up against there. Looks pretty square. I'll run these jam nuts back up on here, but it's not like it's really going to go anywhere. So this little scale right here, I went from just under six down to just over five. So I'm going to back that back off and I'm going to spin this around and put it back in the other way. And then I'm going to run it back down to that point and then I can start doing my tightening up from there.
right, so I guess it's back where we was at, and then I'm going to go an extra turn. So I think that was a total of four turns total. I think that's probably getting us pretty close. Not great, but it's better. It's not as twisted as it was. I'm gonna roll it back through. Roll it back through one more time. I'm also going to mark a note that we're at two, we're two clicks below five. So that's probably where we want to get to on the other ones, two clicks below five. Alright, that don't look, that don't look like a foot quite yet. It's about seven and three quarter inches from the center seven and a half inches of roll So we need to go all the way down to two clicks before five. Two clicks after five. Alright, that's two clicks below five. I'm going another one. It's about, about good. It's kind of going the other way now. So maybe that helps with that thing right there. Alright, I'm going to back off and we'll check it. It gives us 11 and a half inches. I think we're gonna go with that. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. 11 and a half. All right, so we've got one down and we kind of know how we want to do the next one of these, which is gonna be roughly the five and a half centimeters. And roll it to that and that should be, that should be good. All right, I'm gonna grab another piece. Throw this one back on the trailer. out to try to combat some of that roll on this side too. It seemed to be helping some using that side over there. All right, so that's two rolls. Now we're gonna go another turn. Let's 
starting to get a bad roll again in it. So I think for these last couple turns, I'm going to go ahead and flip it around and run it through the other way. All right, so we're down to one click above five. Let me have. It is perfect though. Set point. Now this one's gonna be 79 and 78, so uh, we gotta get more roll out of this one. Turn, baby.
messed up on the bottom right there. Yeah, I should have only went like a half turn, I guess. It's 13 and a half there. Alright, I say we scrap that piece. Start again. Mm -hmm. Dented it up pretty bad here, and we actually rolled it further than I wanted to. So I think we're going to scrap this piece, and then I'm only going to go almost to that depth, but a half a turn less. We're gonna scrap that one. All right. So on that last one, we rolled it with the I rolled it with the weld to the inside. Maybe that caused some problems with it crinkling. So this time I'm gonna roll it like I did those first two with the weld on the outside. See how that goes. Maybe to maybe to do a little better. Now I'm going to back off, I'm going to spin it around. I think it needs to go to that half a turn to finish it. it needs about a half a turn to finish it, don't it? Then we're gonna crank it up. We try to go another half turn. I don't know neither. Let's try to go one more half turn. Yeah, it's eight and a half. That's where we was at. And then we went, we tried to go another full turn, crinkled it all up. So I think that we're going to go with, uh, with that right there because it's not over bent. I think that arch would be okay compared to the other ones, don't you think? I think it will be fine.
down close and they ain't twisted. Two more to roll and then we're done. See, it needs to be getting on a straight right here and still. See what we can do with it. All right, so don't listen to your camera ladies. She'll tell you wrong. I'll let you go down some shit. <laughs> so, again. That's why I did all those other ones first. I didn't want to waste my big piece of material. But, all right, we'll use it again next time. We're good. Might have to put another half a turn in it, but let's see, let's see what that looks like. Two foot there, which is how much bend I need out of it. And that's going back here. Yeah, I'd say that's probably it right there. Thumbs back. Almost exactly two foot to the top. I think it's pretty good, man. I think we we'll have to make that work, don't you think? All right, guys, so we got all our pieces rolled. I think we can work with all these bins we got. Um, we only lost a couple pieces of material. I think that's the camera lady's fault, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, guys, we want to thank you for watching and um, stay tuned for some more of the gate build. Next thing is um, taking all these pieces and putting our frames together. And uh, so that should be a lot of fun. I uh, hope you guys stay with me. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and share. And we'll see you next time.